everyone more about and wrestling 24 7 i am the rugged rebel and uh we've already uh, i know the canaron was locked backstage in a room we've already unlocked the door so canaron has i've heard he's already left the uh the room and he is pissed he is furious with us for what happened and he's angry that yanta is the new jewel champion and that i and that yanta now has left the arena so yanta has been taken to a safe place by rage rage has taken yanta to a safe place to celebrate the victory and you know claire wasn't here to stop it and the board of directors wasn't going to stop it and Canaron couldn't stop it so you know what that's the way it goes we start off valley dung wrestling 24 7 and it's already huge on thus far because now the xd has even more gold and you want and people might want to argue about it well here's the thing ads signed the match ads made it official any complaints that people may want to make they can make all the complaints to the board that they want but you know what the end result is yanta the new jewel champion is here comes too cool down to the ringside area and i believe that rikishi is the special guest referee for this next contest and after this matchup i think that i should probably uh head to the back and see what's going on maybe catch up with the mad professor about what's going on and wait a second i got an email or a text message here on my phone that says that tonight i've got to defend my light heavyweight championship and that the mad professor has to defend his title later on tonight here on Valley Young Wrestling 24-7. And apparently the match was signed by Claire through an email to the board of directors and the board of directors approved it and, that, and apparently Claire is on her way back to the arena tonight. You know, Claire, after what happened to you, you should take the rest of the night off. You have my permission to take the rest of the night off you don't have to come back here. ADS is doing a fine job running the show. Claire does not need to be here. And I know Claire's probably furious about what happened with the Jewel Championship. She's got to be. The woman that basically taught her a lesson is now the new Jewel Champion. And <clears throat> you can spin it any way you want. But you know in the end, the end result is... Yantas, the new champion, and it's a new day for the Jewel Division. It's a new era in the Jewel Division. 2014 is almost over. And this possibly could be the last Valley Dung Wrestling of the year 2014. I don't know. But nonetheless, Yanta is the Jewel Champion. And I don't care what other people may say. <clears throat> and speaking of running things, ADS has already made two matches for Naughty or Nice Fours. It looks like Terrible Terry Tate and Courtney Kate are taking it to Too Cool as Rikishi. All he can really do is look on as Courtney Kate is really imposing his will on Grandmaster Sexay. And Scotty Too Hotty is really taking it to uh, Terrible Terry Tate. So, looks like a tale of two different matches. It's almost like... These guys are wrestling almost like two singles matches. And we haven't seen very much of Terrible Terry Tate and Courtney Kate lately. But uh, what we have seen when they've competed is we've seen them dominate some of their competition. As Courtney Kate now is uh, going for an attack here as he's got Grandmaster Sexay up. And he is about to send him, I think, Yes, through all through that table as Scotty Duhati had a high flying maneuver and Too Cool could be on their way to a big victory here. As Courtney Kate, though, he's got to hope that Scotty Duhati doesn't get doesn't keep catching fire like this because oh, because that could really spell the demise of a uh, of the soft Felcher and Sons. As Courtney Kate with a power bomb there to Grandmaster. And Grandmaster Sexay is still down. Courtney Kate dragging him to the center of the ring. And now a cover hooks the leg. One, two, three. 
And that is it. Scotty Too Hotty thinks that Rikishi made a fast count there on Too Cool, but I think it looked like a fair count to me. I don't know, though. I mean, this match could be a controversy, but nonetheless, I think Felcher and Sons has picked up the victory, and now they will probably rise back up the ranks here in Valley Dung Wrestling. A big victory for Courtney Kate and Terrible Terry Tate here on Valley Dung Wrestling 24-7. And for not seeing them often, they, they do impress when they are in that ring. <clears throat> and I'm going to get going so I can celebrate a little bit backstage and also get ready for my title defense. I didn't know I was going to have to defend the title tonight, but you know what? A champion is always ready to put their title on the line. <laughs> 